Hey guys, uh, my name is Max and today we're going to be tying Juan's flux capacitor, uh, except I'm making a little bit of a change to it. Uh, I'm going to be tying it as more of a blood worm for still water. Uh, so I'm just oversizing it uh, quite a bit. Uh, you know, I think Juan made it for fishing the South Platte and Arkansas and, you know, other rivers down by Colorado Springs there. Um, so I like it for any of the South Park lakes. So I'm going to just oversize it. And in the vise, I got a fire hole 718 and a 14. So start some uh, ultra thread in the 70 in a red. And I'm just gonna start that a little bit behind the eye. Make some wraps. And uh, just oversizing everything, so I've got some uh, brassy size ultra wire in silver. And tie that down. And work my wire down the shank here. Make sure I keep spinning my thread. Flatten it down. Nice even covering wraps. Super simple pattern, uh, but very effective on still waters. Uh, blood worms, you know, they live uh, in the like last two feet uh, before bottom. Um, so they're actually laying their eggs in the, the bottom. They drop all the way to the bottom, and as they start emerging, uh, they'll sit in that like bottom foot uh, of the water column. Uh, until they start, you know, fully emerging and working their way up to the surface. Uh, so you want to fish this in about 10 to 20 feet of water or so, uh, just right off the bottom. Uh, always giving it movement. Uh, that's super key to fishing chronomids and, uh, you know, bloodworms and, you know, other aquatic insects. Uh, just make sure that you're always keeping them moving. A uh, really effective method is on like a midge tip. Um, so that might be, you know, a 10, 15 foot sink tip, uh, but it's a very slow, slow pace uh, sink rate. So maybe like one, one inches per second. Uh, you could also do it a little bit faster um, on a little bit heavier, you know, sink tip or sinking line. Uh, floating line will work just fine. So once I get up to the top again here, just gonna make nice even wraps with my wire. Some even segments. Capture my wire here. Helicopter it out. And I'm going to take some uh, pearlescent tinsel in like the wide size. I'm going to tie that right down to the top shank here. Make sure it's centered on top, get back, and then I'm just going to build up a little bit of bulk here behind the eye. Flatten it out, fold up a little bit more. And then I'm gonna fold over my tinsel and capture right behind the eye. Do a quick whip finish. And then I'm gonna get in there with some UV and coat the entire body. 
give it a little more durability. And so for my UV, I'll go with some Solares and that thick. And I'm just gonna layer it up. Make sure it's evenly coated. Got it coated. Hit it with my UV. Spinning as I'm going so it evens it out. There you have it. Wands flux capacitor for lake fishing.